Canola School on realagriculture.com is supported by Bear Crop Science. When you do have a varied staging, I, you know, I think you know, the research has been showing that if you can swath at the later, you know, part of, of, of the ripening period. So we used to say years ago, 10 to, you know, 30% kind of thing, seed color change on the main stem. Um, and then research done by the Canola Council and others have found that probably seed color change at 50 or 60% is, is a better option. If you've got a quite a variable stage um, crop, and those low areas look like they're gonna be quite a good yield in them, but they're not the biggest part of your field. Yeah, you can delay swathing your main part so there maybe 60 or 70% seed color change so that you can get to maybe 10% on, on those low lying areas. So, you know, there's not a big danger of delaying, you know, you know unless you're gonna delay two weeks or something like that. And, and then, you know, um, there's a possibility of even some people swathing right before the combine. And, um, Conditions have to be right, the crop has to be right, leaning, et cetera, to, to do that. We haven't got the shadow resistance of varieties yet to to really, you know, recommend, general recommend for, for straight cutting. But yeah, I, I would say if there's some some yield gains in those low areas, it's better to leave it the main area a little bit longer so you can pick up probably a grade by leaving the low areas and get a little bit more mature. And that window of timing, what are you thinking about for that? You mentioned anywhere within... Yeah, so, you know, to go from, you know, a fifth, you know, 30 to 40% seed color change to 60 or 70%, you know, it's only a matter of probably four or five days. You know, it's not like you're waiting a couple more weeks. It's It can happen fairly quickly depending on, you know, obviously if it's hot and windy, the crop dries down a lot faster. It can be 3% a day moisture, but, you know, typically we're one, one and a half percent moisture a day. So it, it, you know, it takes us probably, you know, that you know, few days to get from those two different stages. So if you escape that, or if for some reason that, that escapes you, I should say, then what are you looking at for potential, say some weather hits you or or, you know, yeah. there's, there's always those things. We have yeah. such a short window here. Yeah. And, and w one of the things that always comes up, okay, there's a frost forecast. You know, it's middle of September, early September. Should I knock down my crop when, you know, it's a little bit green and, but I've heard that it gets worse frost damage, you know, if it's standing than swathed. And, and really the, the little bit of research that's been done shows you have to swath that crop at least a couple days before the frost to really gain a benefit. It has to dry down enough that the pods won't freeze as easy and, and cause the green seed problem. So if you're gonna do it the night before the frost, it's not gonna help. In fact, in some cases, it seems to be worse, you know, sw swathing right the night of the frost. And in other cases where there's been a really a light frost, um, on whole, if you would have just left the whole field, there's a large part of the field would have continued to degreen um, if it's left standing and it ended up with a better grade anyway. So unless you're really sure there's going to be a really harsh frost and you've got two day window ahead, um, I think in most cases you're better off leave it stand and kind of take what comes.